hello everyone so i'll make this very quick video uh, this video is for people that uh, might struggle with what most uh, people nowadays with millennial generations and beyond don't struggle which is usually installing a simple technological gadget so the reason i'm making this video is because i know that this might be in the house of hundreds or thousands of people a blink mini indoor plug-in hd camera and it might be sitting there and you might have someone a robber going to your home or something happen in your house and you just don't install it because maybe you're 80 years old and you don't know what to do where to plug the things or uh, basically you don't know how to deal with these technological things that ever every time it gets even more complex this is pretty straightforward so i could just install this and no problem but i want to share this maybe someone finds this useful so basically here's the box what you have to do is this this area right here you put in your fingers or wherever it allows you and you just open it actually it had a tape right here which i caught so the tape was right here closing so you just cut that tape you put in your fingers there and you, you open it right so when you open it you'll just find this thing in here like this and you'll also find the, this cable clumped up in there so basically you take it out i would recommend you not taking this tape and this uh, adhesive that is on the camera because if it doesn't work and you want to give it back it's better that it has the adhesive on so first you make sure that it works you connect it and everything and once you're you're sure it works you can just um take off the adhesive so what i wanted you to see is that this thing you can actually direct it it has a bowl uh, art like articulation there where you can just articulate it and move it wherever you want and the thing you'll do is you'll connect this thing right here this entrance right here to the back of course it has the the upper portion will be a little bit narrower so you'll just connect it like that let's see the upper portion is narrower it goes actually pretty easily it doesn't click or anything but um yeah you'll you'll have to see that it goes in and the way you know that it actually got connected is because you're gonna be able when you put this into the wall you'll see some light here so i'll just leave it here and co i'm connecting it into the wall right there now you're seeing this light and you'll see another light in blue or something and just have to follow the instructions from there I'll make another video because I need my phone to actually connect it, I guess. So um, let's see if we can do it with another phone. Let me see if I have my... Can you pass me the other phone, Kai? Thanks. So now you have to look for the Blink. Blink. Well, Blink Home Monitor. So I'm downloading it. So this is the app right here, Blink. You see it right there? That's the app you have to download. It's in blue and it's also here. Well, it's not on the box. It just says, it says Blink, but that's the app you want right there. So you download that on your phone. And that's the way you will connect this thing to the Wi-Fi. And once this is connected to the Wi-Fi, it means that it will actually be able to send you information in real time to your phone wherever you are so it already downloaded as you can see it is asking me for my email so i think i already made one of these uh, i my parents have the the system as well so you put in your email you put in your password so i'll use the same email and password i have connected to uh, my the other devices we have and let's see invalid credentials so let's do it again uh, maybe so it says no so basically let's send forget forgot password maybe 
It means please note that changing your password will require you to sign in again on all of your devices. What's that? I'm not going to, no. So I'm gonna uh, create an account. So you press here, create an account if you're starting off and you choose the region you're in. So you choose your country, so United States right there. And yeah, then you hit cancel and then you go to next. After next, you will choose uh, choose your region, okay, East. So click OK. Uh, what is your email address? So yeah, you put in your email address, click Next. And now you create your own password. So it asks you for a password and to confirm the password. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're putting in the password and just confirming or retyping the password and create account create account there it goes verify your email so it's gonna send me a code to my email you'll probably see it pop up up here and that code will ver verify that it's actually me and that that email is mine and that those numbers i'll put in here it will actually activate this thing so if I look for it here in my email, here, Blink, here it is. A Blink, the Blink team, and it's given me the number of confirmation. So it says your verification pin is, that's the number. You can actually copy and paste the number. And after you do that, it sends you to this other screen that asks you for your phone number so it's important you give them your phone number i guess text receive a code by text to protect your account with your phone number so not sure if that's necessary but i just sent uh, the text to my phone number so it's gonna be sent to this phone number right here so i'll have to type that in so how can we do this Okay, so so it gave me the code. Now I invalid certificate. So once you verify um, your phone number with this thing, Blink would like to send you notifications. I would say yes, because if you're out of home, you want to know if something's going on at home. That's the reason you would probably buy one of these things. So I'm going to allow that and it says link your Blink and Amazon accounts. I'm not sure what that will do. Linking to an Amazon is required to have, uh, activate Blink subscription plans. I'm not interested in that right now at the moment. I just want to get it working so you guys see. And uh, okay, perfect. So now it's going to send me to this uh, thing that says protect uh, what matters most so now since we already have this connected we're gonna I guess click on this plus sign and we're gonna sync we're gonna sync which module well the mini the mini so you're gonna click on mini camera because that's the one I have right here and what it's going the way it connects these two things is with the QR code so it says capture the QR code printed on the device so basically it's this thing on the back part of this thing there's a qr code right here so this will scan it so look at it right there it's it's scanning it there and now that it's scanning it you uh, click on create a new system you click on continue and you write the name okay and once you have the name you click on continue so it is gonna tell me that it needs to see this thing it says discover device plug in blah blah it already did that and it tells me that this thing little thing has to be doing the same as what you see on the phone blink in blue and steady green which both are occurring so now you click on discover device Blink wants to join a Wi-Fi network. Okay, join. Because both have to be on the same Wi-Fi network. 
in, in order to set them up. Would like to find and connect to devices. Okay, connect. You have to allow these things to connect because that's the only way it will work. Then it lists your Wi-Fi uh, networks. You have to choose the same network you are currently connected. So you might have your network's name at home might, might be a surfer shop. So you have to connect to surfer shop and not to your neighbor's Wi-Fi, right? And that will need a password as well. So the password is, I don't recall it right now. So let's see. Well, you'll put in the password for your Wi-Fi and after that, I'll tell you what's next. So once you um, put in the Wi-Fi password correctly, it, the, it means that both of these things will be connected to the same system, same Wi-Fi. And now then it's going to say mini camera added to whatever name you put your blink new home system um, yeah so you click on done basically and after that it gives you like welcome this and that the general information and welcome to blink plus plan free trial so uh, in, in, initially i'm not interested in the in the trial because i just want to get you set up so i'll click on next next then okay and it sends you to this first uh, image what we're gonna do is that then you have to just start using it so here you can take a photo right now of what we're seeing so I'm gonna take a photo I'm gonna press it and you'll see a picture of what we're seeing so that's gonna be a picture it's gonna pop up here in the cell phone so we're gonna wait a second and it's gonna give us a picture start a live blah blah you already know that this arm and armed okay I'll explain that later but let's get the picture see there we are in the picture and now you have it all set up I'll make another video explaining how to use this thing but at least call it a day because you already set it up and that's it for today